got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happier. We're gonna play something. Read something. You should be happier. Hi. I thank you so much for giving me your trust and some of your time to see this new video. This video is to guide you to safely upgrade your compatible Mac to Mac OS Sonoma. It's officially released to the public today. The first thing to do if your Mac is compatible, I have a short video here that shows all the Macs that are compatible with Mac OS 14. Take a look at the video, I'll leave you the link. The first thing to do to upgrade is make sure you have a strong and steady internet or data connection. Second, connect your compatible Mac to power source. Number three, back up your Mac. You can do that in two ways. First, click your name, click iCloud, and turn on iCloud Drive. The second way to back up is to click General, click Time Machine, and add a backup disk. Once that's out of the way, you either see software update available in system settings. You see it says Mac OS Sonoma 14.0 is available. Then it tells you to upgrade. If you don't see it here, go to App Store. and search for Mac OS Sonoma and press enter. See it's not even available yet on the App Store. You see, they still have is Ventura, they still have on the App Store. At the time you will watch this recording, you should be able to search for Mac OS Sonoma and see it. When you see it, click View, click View, and click Get. Thus, if it doesn't appear for you to download and install in the system settings you can go to up to the app store to get it what we do here now is before we upgrade make sure you have good amount of storage space i have like 200 gigabytes that's important if you don't have free storage space on your mac it will not let you upgrade so we go back and we click upgrade we say agree we enter the password of the mac Click OK. This is where a fast and steady internet is a plus. And also, if your Mac is, is the Mac with the Apple Silicon chip, the upgrade will be a lot faster.
is telling us that the computer will restart. So we stop the record. Hi. Welcome back to the concluding part of the Sonoma upgrade video. After the restart, the upgrade was successful. And this is Marco S. Sonoma. When you have windows open like this on your desktop you can quickly click the top part you can see i believe this is something new too when you click back see and this is the official sonoma screen saver let's click back so here it shows this was new in notes there's a new update for links for new text format and this we click continue then here we agree we agree For Safari, the improvements, we can now create profile that can help us separate what we do with the browser when we use the Safari browser for personal work and for business or office work. Then there's intelligent tracking prevention this is like for ads ip anything that will temper with privacy so let's right click let's click change this is your official wallpaper another thing after you successfully upgrade to Son sonoma is the login screen is moved further to the bottom let me show you that see that before is at the center but now you can see that the login screen is further at the bottom see Let's try to add widget on the screen. To add widget, which is one of the new features for Sonoma, just right click and select edit widget. So here we can click this. You can see the plus sign. We click. Look at that. 
we click C dot. Any widget we want to add on the screen, we just right click and add it. podcast see that and you can sync the widget on your iPhone or iPad to be what you have on your Mac and that's it for this video Again, in this video, I refreshed you on how to safely upgrade your compatible Mac to Mac OS Sonoma 14. Again, you need steady and fast internet. You need to connect your Mac to power source, back up your Mac, have up to 30 gigabytes of storage space on your Mac then you can go on to upgrade I'd like to hear your feedback what do you think of this Mac OS 14 I thank you again for your trust and your time see you in another refreshing video